Hi guys, charity shop gold or garbage. What we're looking at here is basically garbage. But I got it bundled up for two pounds in total, so I bought it. Uh, let's start off a solar rocker. A solar panel on the back, but I think you might be able to work out where the problem is. His arm's been broken off. Now, we might be lucky. We might be able to glue that back on. I somewhat doubt it, because it's not much surface area to glue, but I'll give it a try. And if that works, then, hey, I've got yet another solar rocker. So we'll look at him later. Uh, this one, <laughs> I've done a bit of a series on uh, Christmas animatronics. I assume he's supposed to be Christmas. He's got a little bell on him. He was marked at a pound, but I say the whole lot I got for two pounds. Press here. Feeling in there, it feels like his head rocks. There's actually something solid goes up into his neck and also... Feels like his arms might move as well, so he might have a bit of motion to him. I did just have a quick peek in there, and the um, batteries are completely crystal crystalline and corroded. So we might be lucky, it might just be a matter of cleaning up the battery contacts and putting a fresh set of batteries in there. I'll probably do a separate video on that. This one. Uh, made in China. It's one of those pull cord um, racers. Pull it and away it goes. That one, out of the lot, is actually sort of what it says on the tin. It, it actually works. So yeah, it's only cheap plastic but that looks like that will work. Right, now we get into other things. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, it says there. 2.4 gigahertz, it says there. Forwards, backwards, left, right. I think that's all it does. But that's it. I don't have anything to go with it. Uh, it just says, uh, yeah, Nico. So it might possibly bind with some of the other 2.4 gigahertz stuff that I've got, that I've got no transmitters for. So, as I say, because it was all bundled together and it only cost me £2 for the whole lot, I thought I'd have it, because any transmitters on their own, I always try and buy if I can, because it's usually the other way around. It's usually cars with no transmitters that you find. And 2.4 gigahertz is becoming a real problem. They don't seem to have any standard. They might all be 2.4 gigahertz, but they don't bind with each other. So that would be a problem, but it might be handy. And then this thing, I really wish it was what it says on the box. Air and water power, pneumatic hydraulic engines, build your own pressure powered engines and learn about the laws of physics. Thames and Cosmos. 165 pieces, 15 models, 48 page manual. Right, uh, which is the end that was open? This end, I think. Luckily, I did have a look before I bought it. Yeah, it's this end. Right, okay, so. That's our 165 pieces, but we have got the 48 page manual. Yeah, it's handy to have something like that, but obviously <laughs> just about everything else is missing. That looks like that might be handy if it'll go onto an ordinary um, pop bottle. I'll have a look in a minute because that allows you to connect up either side, two different sizes of pipe from the looks of it. 
Um, oh, that looks like the rubber seal to go in the bottom of there. Yeah. Then, as you saw, we had a few random bits fell out. In fact, those bits look like they would make caterpillar track, don't they? Yeah. But there's not enough there to actually make a caterpillar track. There's no gears. Um, that, that looks to me like that's supposed to be an air valve, but I tried pushing it gently and it didn't want to move. Oh, it did that time. Okay, so that might be handy. An air valve. So, air in, air out. I say air valve, it could be water or air, I suppose. And then the only thing that looked like it might be useful was this. Water in there, under pressure. Spins that and drives through that gear chain. Drives that. So I thought, well, yeah, that might be useful. Water sprays in there, drains out the bottom, and looking at the diagrams and that, that should go into a reservoir just to catch the water. So you could use it indoors. So, um, yeah, if anybody had bought this without opening the box, they would have been deeply disappointed when they got home. Because that is, that is junk. But that might be useful, and that might be useful. So, in total, £2 for the whole lot. If I can find anything that um, binds with that, 2.4 gigahertz, then that will be the actual best out of the lot. But that does work. Can't knock it. That works fine. Nothing wrong with that. It does say solar racer. I don't know why it says solar racer. There's nothing at all to do with the sun on that. But uh, there's a pull, it's a pull cord racer. Yeah, that works too. Hey, thanks for watching. There's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily. So don't forget to subscribe and enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases. You can help keep my channel running by donating a dollar on Patreon to buy me coffee. You can always find more information in the video description. Thanks again for watching.